Next, we're going to go to Working Papers 9-4, so you can load that up. You will see it looks like this, where we have up on the top, you can see Transactions, Petty Cash Report, Chart of Accounts. You have your transactions listed there. And it says in the instructions here, using October of the current year, journalize the transactions for Golden Fabrics on page 10 of the Cash Payments Journal. The check used as source document are abbreviated as C's. You can see up in your transactions. No C is needed as part of the check number. Okay, so our first transaction right up here, this one right here, we wrote a check to Bilton Communications for the telephone bill, $124, and we wrote out check number 521. Okay, to record this, remember again, keywords here, we are paying for a telephone bill, so that would be our utility expense. We're not purchasing merchandise or anything like that. We're just paying our, our phone bill. So October 2nd is the date. Remember, we have to write the date, the, the, day of the, the day and the month on the first line. The account title, if we look at our chart of accounts, we don't have a telephone expense, but we do have a utility expense. Okay, so our account title will be utilities. Ex Sorry about that. Sometimes it jumps back. Expense. Check number 521. We are increasing our expense, so we'll have a general debit of $124, and we're paying cash, so it'll be a cash of $124. Our second transaction, we wrote a check on account to Gray Manufacturing. So if we look back on purchase invoice number 532, we'll see that we owe them $1,640. We paid it early, so we have to pay less and there's going, we have to also record the cash discount and we wrote out check 522. So the date is the third. Our vendor's name is Gray Manufacturing Incorporated. Hang on a second. Oh my goodness. We wrote out check number 522. Okay, so we owe Gray Manufacturing $1,640. So we're going to cancel out the debt of $1,640. Okay, then we have to figure out our discount. So we're gonna take 1,000, so you can punch this into your calculator. You take $1,640, you are going to get a 2% discount, so we're gonna take it times 0 0.02, and we'll come up with $32.80 is gonna be our discount. Okay, so again, we took $1,600, $40 times our 2% discount. Now we're going to figure out the amount of cash that we have to pay. So we're going to take $1,640 minus our discount of $32.80 and the total is $1,607.20 for the cash. And if you were to look at that, our two credits, if you add up those two, it would equal our debit. So this is what we owe. We paid cash and we got a discount. On the 9th, we wrote a check to LP Manufacturing for merchandise with a list price of $1,575. And we wrote out that check. Okay, again, we wrote a check and we're buying merchandise. So to summarize it, we're paying cash for merchandise. We don't, it doesn't really matter which business or vendor we buy it from. Okay, so the ninth, we purchase merchandise for cash. The account affected is purchases. We didn't buy supplies, but we bought purchases. 
And purchases, remember, are items that we are going to resell. We wrote out check. We wrote out check number 523. Okay, purchases is going to increase to increase purchases. We have to debit it because de uh, purchases has a normal debit balance. And the amount we paid was $1,575. And we paid cash for that merchandise, $1,000. $575. Remember, if we purchase on account, we use our purchases journal. This is a purchase for cash. Okay, our next one on the 12th, we recorded a direct withdrawal of our credit card fee from the bank, $64, memorandum 77. So the bank is charging us a credit card fee for the use of the credit card and it is automatically deducted from our bank account, so we don't have to write out a check for it, but we do have to record it. So this is, if you look at your chart of accounts, you can see we do have a credit card fee expense because we do want to keep track of how much um, the credit card does cost the, the business. It keeps popping out, sorry for that. Okay, it's a credit card fee expense. Okay, for $64 and it's memorandum 77. So since we're not writing out a check, we have to write M77. The amount of the expense is $64 and we are paying cash $64. So again, that paying of an expense is no different than what we did before. It's a general credit cash or general debit cash credit. On the 16th, we wrote a check on account to Westland Supplies covering purchase invoice 516. Okay, so if we looked on our purchase invoice 516, we'd find out that we do owe them $426. No cash discount was offered, and we wrote out this check. Okay, so the date is the 16th. Our vendor is Westland Supplies, or Supply, sorry. We wrote out check number 524. Our accounts payable is going down because we wrote out a check to pay for it. So we're going to debit our accounts payable for four. And we are paying cash. And then the last one, the 31st, recorded the replenishment of the petty cash fund on October 31st. Again, remember, we're not establishing our petty cash. We're just paying for the petty cash slips that are in our petty cash fund. So what we have to do is go to our petty cash report, and we are going to record the information that is on our petty cash report. So the date is the 31st. The account title is our first payment is supplies office. And again, we're going to write out check. It said 525. Supplies office. We bought some supplies with our petty cash, so we're going to debit supplies. You can see here for $48.15. Our second item we bought with our petty cash fund is supplies for our store. And we paid $57.18. Our third item was miscellaneous. And that was for $47.64. And then we also, if we take a look at it here, we had a cash short. It's not in parentheses, so it's not over, it's cash short. But the account is called cash short. Oh, man. 
I don't know why it keeps flipping back with my new keyboard here. Cash short and over. Since it is short, it's a lot like losing money and expense, so it will be debited for 105. Whoops, one dollar and five cents. Okay, remember those were the slips in our petty cash. If you look down here, the amount to be replenished would be this amount. So that's the amount we're going to write out our check for is 15402. And that is the transactions that we covered in this section.